boys and girls, today we're going to talk about someone that God gave incredible strength to. His name was Samson. God can give us strength in different ways. Some people he's blessed with physical strength, but others he might give the strength to stand up for people who are mistreated. Some people he might give the strength to do the right thing, even when it's hard. God's strength looks different in all of us. Let's listen to our story and find out if Samson uses his strength for good. After the Israelites were living in the Promised Land, Joshua eventually died. Joshua had been a good leader. He trusted God. But more than 250 years passed before Israel had a leader like Joshua again. Instead of having one leader who could help Israel follow God for a long time, Israel had a bunch of leaders who were raised up by God when there was trouble and then disappeared when the trouble was over. There are 12 of these leaders named in the Bible. Othniel, Ehud, Shamgar, Deborah, Gideon, Tola, Jer, Jephthah, Ibzan, Elon, Abdon, and Samson. Do you notice that some of these names sound familiar while other of these sound really crazy and weird? Have you ever met anyone named Shamgar? Or how would you like to be named Othniel? Deborah helped the Israelites when they were attacked by the Canaanites. Gideon helped the Israelites when they were attacked by the Midianites. Jephthah helped the Israelites when they were attacked by the Ammonites. And then there was Samson. You've probably heard of him. He's like the Incredible Hulk of the Bible. God made Samson really, really strong. So strong he beat Israelites' enemies, the Philistines, almost all by himself. He killed a lion and knocked down a temple with his bare hands. But like many of the judges, Samson wasn't very strong at actually following God. Samson wasn't just an ordinary Israelite. He was a Nazarite, which was a higher level of set apart for God, like ninja holy. To be a Nazarite, you couldn't ever drink wine. You couldn't touch a dead person or a dead animal. And get this, you couldn't ever cut your hair. You just had to let it grow and grow. Samson was really good at fighting the Philistines, but he was really bad at keeping his promise. Once Samson killed a bunch of Philistines, not with his bare hands, but with the jawbone of a donkey, the donkey was dead, of course, which means that Samson had touched something dead. Oops. He also ate honey from a beehive he found inside the body of a dead lion, which is disgusting, and broke his promise not to touch dead things. Double oops. And then came his biggest broken promise of all. There was a Philistine woman named Delilah, who Samson thought was really cute. Remember, the Philistines were his enemies. She asked him if there was anything that could take away his amazing strength, and he said, Sure, just cut my hair. Really, Samson? And so she did. Samson's hair wasn't what made him strong. God made him strong. But Samson had promised he would never cut his hair. And there was Delilah with a pair of scissors. Triple oops. God took Samson's strength away because as good as he was at fighting Philistines, he wasn't good at following God. Just like Samson, all of Israel was messing up over and over again, breaking their promises to God, and try as they might, not one of the twelve judges was able to help Israel for very long. Clearly, if the Israelites were going to be a God's holy people and stay around for long enough to be a nation to bless the whole world, they were going to need a stronger leader, one who would listen to God, unlike Samson. They would eventually get one, but it would take a very, very long time. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Praise ye.
In our story today, God was giving Samson strength. God gave Samson physical strength, which means he could lift really big things and he could protect other people, but he forgot to let God lead him. God may bless some of you with physical strength as you grow, but the best strength he gives you is the strength that lives inside us. So let's talk about the strength of God inside us for a minute. Hold up your piece of yarn and your pipe cleaner. Take a minute to examine the yarn and the pipe cleaner. Which seems stronger to you? You can pause the video and tell your family here if you want or if you want to talk about it. Okay, so the pipe cleaner is stronger. There is a piece of metal in this middle of this pipe cleaner that makes it stronger. If we hold the pipe cleaner up, it can stand up like this. Can I do that with the yarn? Nope, nope, it will not stand up. I have to, to make the yarn stand up like the pipe cleaner, I have to hold it tightly with my hands. Just like the metal inside of your pipe cleaner, God's Holy Spirit cannot be seen. But the book of Ephesians in the Bible tells us that God will give you inner strength through His Spirit. Then Christ will make His home in your heart as you trust Him. Your roots will grow down in God's love and keep you strong. Our Bible verse today is from Joshua 1.9. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. I don't think this verse needs much of an explanation, but God wants us to be strong and courageous because He lives inside of us. So let's learn the motions that go with our Bible verse. First of all, let's do be strong. Show me your muscles. Be strong, and then wipe your chest and make little fist, and courageous. So let's try that part again. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. For the Lord your God, so that's that L and we'll do the banner, for the Lord your God will be with you. So do fist and put them together. We'll be with you and then you're going to make your fingers walk wherever you go. Okay, so let's try that again. Be strong and courageous and do not be afraid. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Let's try that one more time. Be strong and courageous and do not be afraid for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Now we're gonna pray. Remember, we're talking to a king and when we talk to a king, we can bow our head and then we can close our eyes so we don't get distracted. We can fold our hands. So if you want to do those things with me while we pray, you can. Okay. Dear God, thank you for the good leaders in our lives. Please be with our leaders and fill them with your strength as they lead us. Amen.